Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, we're gonna kind of talk about a, a couple of little tips on you know choosing the brushes that you like um, when you're doing some character sketching, and you know some general ideas on how to make your life a little bit easier and to make your workflow a little bit faster when you're working on some character illustrations. Okay, so kind of covered this in the previous video. Sometimes it's nice to have a two. Um, panel setup because what you could do is really far away you can go and get large scale details and then when you zoom in you go over here to the large side then you can kind of erase and you can get the line work just right and you can get the accuracy that you're looking for you can you can be sneaky and put in some of those other details and stuff like that okay so that's that's a biggie um, one of the things I like to do, so I was going to talk about brushes. So one of the things I like to do is I usually start out with a general brush or one of my other brushes. Um, you should look up Aaron Blaze, B-L-A-I-S-E. It's right here. Um, I, I really like Aaron Blaze's um, general brush and you can get this brush. It's kind of like a chalky pastel brush and you can press hard or you can press very gently and you can get some really good tones and stuff like that um, out of this brush. Anyways, I would, I would recommend you try to find a lot of brushes that you like, but sometimes I like to use this brush to sketch, or I'll just use a very standard, like a hard round brush. And that's a, that's a brush I'll typically use at the beginning as I'm trying to figure out what the, what the form is gonna be of the character and how I'm gonna make the outfit all the wrinkles and stuff like that, okay? Um, this is personal preference, so you know, do what works for you. But what I would recommend is to pick a brush that you really like. I love the way textured brushes look. Um, so let me go my topmost layer. So I kind of like the way these look. Um, and you can get the free ones that come with Photoshop and the dry media brush. Um, uh, those come automatically. Um, I like my Tonko House brush. Um, where are we? So here we go. And there's like a coverage brush. Oops, that was a little too big. I like the coverage brush because sometimes it's good for like painting, but it's got a little bit of texture to it. Um, Dam Keeper brush is really good as well. It's super random as um, super random. And I kind of like to draw with this brush too, but I usually spend most of my time painting with it. Um, but it's a really good brush, very powerful. The drawing brush works really well. As, um, you, know, you gotta go a little bit bigger with it if you want it to have the coverage that you want. But, you know, again, um, this is like a personal preference and you gotta figure out like what it is you're trying to accomplish. What is the style that you are, wanna go with? And you know, the more you actually spend time drawing, the closer it you're gonna get to the style that you normally do and you know the sensibilities that you want to try to create with the drawings that you have okay so again um it's practice you know watch lots of youtube videos not just mine but you know bunches of other artists and try to figure out uh, through practice and trial and error and repeat failure try to figure out you know what your style is all right guys i hope that was a helpful video we shall see you in the next one thanks a lot